Hi everyone, this is Ida with Creative to Create. We're back with the reveal for group 10 of the year invited to a tea party swap. And starting us off is Miss Anna Rodriguez. And she does have a YouTube channel and I believe it's My Crafty World, but we'll find out for sure. And her name and her uh, channel will be linked in the description box. So this is what Miss Anna created. Look at the beautiful little teapots that she created. Miss Anna, I believe you did one too many. Guys, those of you who did one too many, um, if you want your swap back, your extra one, let me know. If not, I will be, I, if it's okay with you, I would like to give it away. But if you want it back, let me know so I can send it back. Now, some packages have already been sent out, so I, I might not be able to do that. But uh, if I'm just uploading your video, then I, I probably still have your, your swap. Um, and if you want it back, just let me know. Anyway, this is what Miss Anna created, and she did do an extra one. Look at how pretty they are. And she created a teapot, a, lo a loaded teapot. And she's got everything individually wrapped, and you can tell, you can see that she has a goodie in all her, her little swaps. Miss Anna, I have to tell you, I have been enjoying playing with my, my. Uh, gel uh, glittered pen that you gave me. I play with it all the time. Thank you very much. Anyway, guys, this is what um, what she created, and she did create one for me, so we'll be able to get into it. And mine is already pretty much pre-opened. And let's just put these in here, and I'll share. We can see what this one has. I opened the bag already, but I haven't taken it out. Move that out of the way. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And the swaps are all the same, I believe. I didn't see one with a name on it. So um, so I just opened one of them, and this is what her little teapot looks like. How cute is that? And uh, it, it's tiny, but it's it's super cute. And look at this little bear that she has. We have to have a bear somewhere in our swap. It didn't have to necessarily have to be an embellishment, uh, but it had to be somewhere in your swap. So this is where she opted to put her teapot. She made like a little, uh, kind of like the wands, but it's got a little teddy bear at the top where he's holding a heart with some roses all the way around. And then she wrapped it with uh, some green uh, like braided ribbon looks like and the straw is pink or the stick looks like a uh, Maybe a stick So there is her teddy bear look at how cute that is She's got like a doily back here with glittered paper. Let me bring you in some guys Not too much, but a little bit she's got a doily back here with glittered paper and then she has looks like some kind of um, it looks like cheesecloth and pink and then she's got these beautiful flower sprays right here she's got some roses right here she has a macaron right here and it has iridescent pink uh, for the filling she's got that little teeny tiny butterfly she has the same punch that i have i absolutely love it and then she says cause uh, this little uh teacup she has here has a little uh, pearl and she edged it with some kind of distressing ink and it says cause a stir <laughs> that's funny and she's got the steam going up and then she's got a strip of bling right here let me turn it to the back here is the back to her teapot she made a little pocket with trim with lace trim and she added uh, little flat backs to the side this might be her information and let's see, it's my crafting world. Did I write it correctly? No, I, no, I said my crafting. It's my crafting. It's my crafting world. Anna Rodriguez. Um, She's hoping that everybody enjoys what she created, she, that she enjoyed creating this for us. And I say us because she did create one for me. So that's the little note that she has tucked back here in this little pocket that she created. How cute is that? So let's get into the teapot. I'm going to take everything out. That way I can show you the teapot. 
there is the little uh, a sleeve that she kind of made like a sleeve because you can see there's an opening on the bottom that's clever it reminds me kind of like a potato chip uh potato chip like a french fry box similar to that that's pretty clever that is nice and it is gusseted so it's able to to expand quite a bit she has a flat back up here very nice and i'm gonna move that aside and let's get into her swap we had to have a tag and i believe this is her tag it's it is very sturdy guys and she did like a a die cut um piece and she layered it a couple of times because it's pretty strong she etched it in metallic gold on the edge looks like maybe an antique gold here is her hanging element she's got twine and and like a rickrack uh, iridescent ribbon she's got a couple of appliques right here and again she's got this little flower spray right here I love using these little sprays uh, in my creation in the things I create she's got some stamens gold stamens oh these are pretty and then the roses right here and this and then it says tea is a cup of love so there is her and there's her to and from in the back so that is her tag and we had to have a uh, a charm here's her dangle that she created let me see if I can find the opening And I believe this one has her bow as well. We had to have a bow, yes. So here is the bow that she created and is she made it out of that faux uh, leather that we all buy from Hobby Lobby, that's what it looks like. And then here's her beautiful little charm. Look at how pretty that is. I think it's better if I leave it on this because you can see it better. She's got a beautiful satin rose, uh, uh, bow up here, and her main uh, components are gold. And she's got little pearls in different colors, in the white and the pink, in a clear and a frosted pink. And then she's got this beautiful glass bead right here with the flowers on it. That's pretty. And then she has um, like a little, two little mugs, like a teacup and a coffee mug, and then the saucer. How cute is that? That's super pretty. So here is her her little bear. There is her tag. Here is her bow and her charm. And then we had to have three embellishments. So let's see. Let me see. Yes, this goes over here. We had to have three embellishments. And she's got them in these pretty uh, bags. I love these. And they are stapled on, so you have to be a little bit careful to remove it so you don't damage it. And let me see if I can... I love this paper. Look at this beautiful uh, die cut that she has here. I love this col color combination. And then she has the bow up here with the little rose. Beautiful. And let's see what her uh, embellishments look like. Oh, I'm still stapled. It looks like she added them like on a piece of acetate, yes. I love this little bag, it's so pretty. She has her embellishments on a piece of acetate, so she made two macarons, one in the pink and one in the aqua, and it has the glittered uh, filling in there, uh, the white iridescent glitter, and then she's got the little butterflies. Same thing here, it's in pink with the white filling, and then the, the tiny white butterfly. And look at this beautiful uh, butterfly that she has here. That's beautiful, I love that. And she added a couple of layers. She's got the, it has the iridescent white glitter paper, and then in the pink, and she edged it. And then she added some bling in the center. So here are her three embellishments. Beautiful. And let's see. And we had to have two bag toppers. And here is her uh, bag toppers. And they are uh, in a clear bag. And she does have a topper up here that has some flowers, a little pink leaf trim, and then a little butterfly uh, clip. I love that. I'm not sure if I own those. Uh, maybe I don't. Let's see if I can find the opening. And this one again is stapled guys so just be a little careful 
not to rip your bag and your bag topper if you want to reuse it because I am all for reusing that's for sure and she did include guys she not only included the bag toppers she also included the bags for them so there's her bag topper and she included the two bags for the uh, to go with the bag toppers and here are her bag toppers there's bag topper number one with that beautiful printed paper again she's got a little white lace trim up here with the bling strip she's got some pink cheesecloth underneath and then this applique on top with the flat back heart pearl heart so there is bag topper number one and they fit perfectly for the size of bags that she included here's bag topper number two it's exactly like the other one. It's got the cheesecloth, cheese the applique, the flat back pearl, the white trim, and the gold bling. So there are her two bag toppers. Let me see. Let me get them in frame. There are her two bag toppers. And then she included some uh, tea guys. Again, she did made a bag topper. I love this paper. She made a bag topper for these to go in. And let's see. You know, when I was really sick a, a, a while back, not long ago, I was already doing this swap and I had a bunch of teas that you guys gifted me and I was so enjoying them. She included a bag of Earl Grey tea and this looks like some kind of echo stick. It's like a sweetener. She included a sweetener and then she backed it with this beautiful die cut. And then she included some goodies, guys. So let me share with you what her goodies are in this one and they're all different so she included a package of these flowers again she uh, added made a bag topper for it as well and added some flowers and then it's got these beautiful white flowers look like felt flowers with the bling bling centers and then she included a die cut oh this is pretty this is a spellbinders die and it has the stamp set and then it has the dies I love this little rose uh, the little rose uh, leaves. Beautiful. That's going to be fun to play with. So she included that as a goodie. Thank you so much, Miss Anna, for playing. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate that you created one for me. Uh, I, like I said, I do see that you made an extra one. And if you want it back, if you want me to send it back to you and not give it away, can you please leave me a little a, in the comment just Tell me you want me to return it, and I'll return it to you. Thank you so much for playing. Don't go away, guys. Let's see who else is coming. Guess who's here, guys? We have Miss Lesia Wilder. She is Mariposa here on YouTube. And um, this is what her swap looks like. Thank you so much for playing. Um, I'm a little bit confused, but I think I got it right. Uh, this is what her swaps look like or her goodies. This might be her goodies and then her swap might be in the bubble mailer. Um, so this is what her, I think this is the goodies and her swap. Yeah, her swap is wrapped up in a bubble mailer, guys, but it's wrapped up in the same color as this. But you will be able to see the one that she sent for me because she did uh, create one for me. And I will share that one with you without opening somebody else's swap. I'm trying not to sneeze, guys. <laughs> anyway, this is what she sent in. And I already have mine kind of pre-opened. And we'll be able to see what her swap looks like. Let's see what she created. I love seeing all the different creations. You guys don't know how, how amazing it is to, or for me, to see all the different, all the different, um, things that you know all the all these different teapots and teacups or what everybody else creates it is just amazing i love it and she did send me a card so let's see what her card says here is her card and uh, she sent me a a little sample of washi so i could enjoy and i can't see what it says oh it's a faith faith inspired washi tape and she's just thanking me for the swap. She enjoyed making uh, crafting for this. She hopes all the ladies enjoy it. Uh, I 
<laughs> she said she just discovered glue dots. <laughs> so let's let's see what she created, guys. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, here is the one that she created for me, and I knew it was the one she created for me because it, it had my name on it. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. It did have my name on it. <laughs> and well, let's see if I can zoom out a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. That's as far as it's going to go. She's got it wrapped in this beautiful uh, paper. Kind of, uh, it, uh, it's like, um, ho like a holographic paper. Holographic paper. Holographic. Graphic. Tomatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> anyway, this is what she did to put my name on it. On here, she made this task, this little, looks kind of like a tassel with a ribbon. And she put my name on here with stickers, some silver uh, glittered stickers. I like that. And she has it taped to the front of the uh, package. And let's see what this looks like. My grandbaby's just got home. She's bringing me the mail. She knows I love it when I, I order stuff, guys, and I can't stand to wait. Um, here's what her swap looks like. Look at this beautiful little teapot. It's tiny. It's like a little, it's short and stout like me. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Look at that, guys. Is that cute or what? Um... She created a teapot. I don't know if this is a cutting file. It might be. She's going to have to tell us in the comments section if you would be so kind. Um, she's got little trim, a little bit of lace trim right here and a silver tiny doily. And then she has like a little tea set, like somebody's having tea. And I don't know if this is a cake. Might be a cake up here. And then here is, this might be her hanging element. It's on a silver lobster claw clasp, and she's got a little saucer on there with silver beads. That is super cute. So I'm going to take everything out, guys. Look at this little teapot. <laughs> that is so cute. Yep. Look at that. And there is the back of the teapot. And like I said, this might be a cutting file. You know mariposa means butterfly in Spanish, and this paper has butterflies in it. So I'm going to move that aside, and let's get into her swap. I think this is her tag. And she's got it like in grays, in, in the gray colors. And I do like gray. So here is her tag. And she has a beautiful like um what do you call these like a scallop but it's open scallop tag and then she has oh you're so clever look at her she's got a teapot up here and a teacup down here with a cupcake but see these little drops they're fall like if they're falling out of the teacup they're pouring out of the teacup and it says it's the little things yes i agree that makes life big and then she's got a little flower right here and some lace as her hanging element and there is the back, the to and from, and then uh, her signature right there. I love it. I love it. And then she sent, um, let me show you her information before I get too far ahead. Look at the little die cut that she put it in. So you can definitely reuse this, guys. And then she put her information. That's where you can find her. She's on Instagram and on YouTube. And she, um, here is one of her bag toppers. She again has it in the in the resealable bags that we all love. I think we should invest a stock in buy stock in those bags. Uh, she embossed this paper in the back with a. Is it the Eiffel Tower? What is it? Ah, uh, no. It's got hearts and something else, guys. But I'm not sure what it is. But it does have, it's embossed with hearts. And here is bag topper number one, again with her grays. And I love the combination of the gray with the blue in it. I really like that. So here she did one of those bag toppers with the bows. She added a bling center. Ooh, it's pretty. So there is ba uh, bag topper number one. Let me see if I can find bag topper number two. Oh, he's super cute. Look at bag topper number two. 
And um, again, she has it in the clear resealable bags. And look at that, guys. Warm wishes. And it's got Mr. Snuggles. We all know who this guy is. And then she's got this beautiful bag topper. This might be a, is it a Sizzix uh, bag topper? Might be. I think either Sizzix or Spellbinders, but I think it's Sizzix. And she's got it again with the grays, guys. And she used the metallic gray up here on the handle. She stickled up the sentiment in, in silver glitter. And then she's got this beautiful flower up here with a flat back pearl. That's pretty. So there is bag topper number two. Everything coordinates really well. And then we have to have a bow. We had to have a bow, so here is what her bows look like. Here are her beautiful bows, again with the grays. I really like that. I really like this color. It's different because I've seen a lot of pinks and, and darker colors throughout, but I really haven't seen any grays, so this is definitely a, a color that has not been used too much in this uh, swap. So she's got uh, the gray paper, again, the pattern paper, and I don't know who makes it. And she's got the bride's bow with a beautiful rose in the center that, all, that is all stickled up. Let me, let me bring you guys in. That is all stickled up in silver. And then she's got this beautiful bow that everybody's been hauling with the flat back pearl. And then it has this uh, little tail. Let me see if I can take this off. It has this little tail. She folded it up, and somebody did this, and I think everybody's running with it. I don't remember who did it, but they did like a little tail on their bows. And this one has the little strip with more little bows and bling centers. So this is her uh, second bow, and we only had to make uh, one, but she made uh, two. So hopefully I'm in frame right there. I want y'all to see all the pretties. And then we had to have three embellishments. So the one bow might be another one of her embellishment, guys. This might be an embellishment instead of a, a, an extra bow. And that, because she's got another bow right here, although they are considered embellishments. Look at that. So let's open this. She's got this beautiful layered bow with the silver glitter paper and then she has that grayish blue paper on top she's got a flat back heart look at how pretty and then she has a rosette over here with a silver doily on the bottom then the gray paper rosette she's got a, a piece of mesh tool iridescent and then a silver cup with a little tiny flower i'm willing to bet that is wild orchid crafts she embossed the paper again with the same embossing folder as the bag topper so it's got hearts as well that's so pretty let me see and then she included some sentiments guys because we had to have a I mean you know we don't have to have like the the swap police is not going to come get you or anything like that but it's nice when we follow the rules and she's got this one sentiment that says warm wishes. She's got another one right here. Actually, actually, this is several. She did them in white, and then she did them like in a light yellow color. It says a cup of tea makes everything better. You fill me with happiness. Hope your day is filled with love and laughter. And this is the same, but in a different color. That way you can die cut it out. Great job. Great call on that. And then here is a journaling card, or you could actually use this as a bookmark or your marker. You could even laminate it. And it says full to the brim with joy. Yes. I love that. And then she included, guys, a uh, little bag. And I'm not going to open it up. I'm going to leave it like that. It's so pretty. She has a bag topper up here. And then a bow right here. Beautiful bow that she has there. And she included some, some tea in a couple of different flavors. Yes. 
can't go wrong with tea and then she did include a goodie bag guys so I'm going to share that with you it was wrapped up in this bag topper that had my name on it so that's how I am able I like it when you guys put when we're not we don't have assigned groups and you put uh, my name on mine not because I'm special or anything like that you know but because that way I know I won't get into somebody else's swap I, I hate getting into somebody else's swap so I appreciate that and let me share with you what goodies she sent. She sent these beautiful pink flowers in like an ombre effect because you have the light pink, then a darker pink, then the darker. And they have these beautiful flat back pearls on them. Thank you. I love that. And then she sent a crafter's companion embossing folder that has the cutting die embedded into the embossing folder. And I've been wanting to try these. Thank you very much. This one has a, looks like a heart. Yes, beautiful. And you get an idea right there of what it looks like. And let me move down here so you can see. Thank you so much, Miss Lissy. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the extra goodies. Thank you for making one for me. Thank you for playing. Thank you for coming through. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, Miss Lysia does have a, if, uh, a YouTube channel, you guys. If there is a corresponding video to this, I will link it in the description box. Nonetheless, her name will be in the description box with her other group members. That way you guys can find them and show them some love. Thank you so much, Miss Lysia. Guys, we got one more in this group, so let's see what she created. Up next, guys, we have Miss Julia P. Uh, Miss Julia P. does have a YouTube channel. She's Julia, Julia P. here on YouTube, and I will post a link to her channel in the description box. And uh, this is what her swap looks like. And she did create one for me, so we'll be able to get into the swap, guys. Um, she has them in individual bags, but look at how chunky they are. <laughs> They're very chunky. And she does have, this might be a Tilda doll not sure it's either a tilda i don't think it's a gorgeous girl it looks like a tilda maybe and then she's got the little postcard right here that says tea party with a little stand with the desserts in it that's so pretty there's the back and she does have them individually wrapped and and she did create one for me thank you miss julia so we will definitely be able to get into the swap look at that look at how chunky that is <laughs> So here is the one that she created for me. I already took it out of the bag, but I haven't gone through it. And uh, look at the beautiful little teapot that she has in the front of her altered bag. She's got a little teapot, and the handle, she has it with that Chinese braid in pink. A little velvet flower right here. And then here's her teddy bear element, guys. And then she has this little window right here. And the little Tilda doll is sitting on the window. Oh, she's like, she's got a little... Uh, pocket watch attached to her little outfit right there I hope you can see that and then it says tea time right here she's got a little bow this is beautiful a little teacup right here with a little applique underneath look at the little tiny spoon beautiful and let me turn it to the back here is the back I love the bees on here yes tea and honey go together like bees and then she's got this beautiful uh, trim at the bottom. She's got actually several layers of trim, a couple, about three layers, guys, because I can see one way down here, then this medallion one, and then this pearl one right here. Look at that. How pretty. And here is her charm. Her charm is attached to the doily that's behind the teapot. Look at the beautiful charm that she created. Her, her findings are in silver. And uh, she's got a little teapot. She's got a little uh, teacup and saucer. She's got a pearl with a rondelle. So pretty. And then she has, I don't know where you guys are finding these little tea bags. Look at the little tea bag. And then she has a beautiful heart lobster claw clasp. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Is that pretty or what? So there is her charm and it's just the perfect size. And uh, let's see if I can find her tag, guys. This might be her tag in here. Let me know if this is the Magnolia Tilda or if it's another doll, but I think it, it, 
it is the magnolia, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I don't have any, but I've seen them before. So um, here's her tag, guys. She has several layers. There's the back with the teacups and the roses. She's got this trim that's sandwiched in between the top layer and bottom layer. And here's that little girl, and she, her hat is all stickled up. She's got another uh, bow up here with glass glitter. It's not stickles. It's glass glitter in the clear iridescent, and then looks like in the gold or copperish color copper color she's got this beautiful white uh, rolled rose on top and then she altered this little wooden spoon right here with lace and pearls and then little flowers right here so pretty and then here's another trim right here and she's got another little rose right here super cute and then her little shoes even her little shoes have glass glitter on them that is cute so here is her tag and then let's see what else we I'm gonna take everything out guys I'm going to show you her, her, her bag, and then uh, we will, and this is heavy, guys, in the front. Like, see how it tilts to the front? So it's front heavy because she did a lot of work to the front of her bag. That's pretty. So whoever's in her group, make sure you don't throw this away because you can definitely reuse this. And there is her bag. She altered the front of the bag. So I'm going to set this aside. And we're gonna get into her swap. There's her charm, here's her tag. Here is one of her bag toppers, I believe. I'm not mistaken, I believe. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. She does have it in its own individual bag. And um, here is her bag topper. What she created as a bag topper, she used doilies for her bag topper, but not the paper ones. These are actually real doilies. And then she's got this beautiful trim that has eyelash trim weaved into it. And then this heart applique. So, and then she included the bag, guys. So here's the bag. Let's say you're gifting this to somebody. And then you would just uh, add it to the top of the bag. There it is. How pretty is that? So there is bag topper number one. And then she has another one similar to that one, a little bit different, but it's similar. Here is bag topper number two. And let's open this up and see what this one looks like. Give you a better, we can see what it looks like through the bag, but I like to take them out. That way you have a better look at it. And here is bag topper number two. And she did include the bag again. Again, it's got a doily as the main bag topper she's got these fibers in behind it in the, the it looks like it's got different colors together and then she's got this beautiful little clay frame that she put um, stickles on it's it's very uh, sparkly and then she's got this little girl in the teacup if you would let us know in the comments what is the, if this is a tilde or not that would be awesome and she included the bag again guys so there you go there are your two bag toppers and then she included we had to have three embellishments let me see if I can find her embellishments I think she's got more than three embellishments so we had to have a bow she created two bows and this is what her bows look like And she made one out of paper and she did she used glass glitter all on the edge of this bow look at that and that pretty and then she's got this beautiful little heart in the center and then this bow or um, this could be a bow because it's like a bow but it does have a flat a uh, die cut in the back but she has she made it with the glitter tool and then she's got an applique on the top with a flat back pearl that's pretty so there's that one and then we had to have uh, applique, um, embellishments so here are two of her embellishments look at that how cute is that I haven't seen this in the swap I didn't even I would not have even thought to do that to be honest how clever you are that's why I like the swaps because I get to see you know it's different when we see it on video uh, but for me, I get to handle it to see it like what it really looks like, and I really enjoy that. <clears throat> anyway, here are her embellishments. She created like a um, like a table setting uh, for two 
because it's got two of them. And she's got like her placemat, her silverware, her little charger in the back, then the plate, and then the napkin. Look at that, guys. And then she's got a little flower on top. And she did two of these. So there's two embellishments right there. Let me move this up some. There's two embellishments right there. And then she altered uh, two spoons. Look at that, guys. She altered two spoons. So she made uh, actually more than three embellishments. She made the, she altered these wooden spoons. She painted them pink, and then she added lace to them, like embroidered lace. And then she uh, trimmed it, trimmed it, the 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 bowl of the spoon in pearls. And then she added some little flower sprays right here. It's so pretty. And then in the handle, it's got those little flat back hearts. Look at how cute that is. So that is embellishment. Something smells good. Embellishment number. Um, actually, I'm going to say four, maybe even five. And then she created some flowers, you guys, some handmade flowers, and she put them in these little sacks. So she created two, one in a white and one in a pink. These are beautiful. So pretty. Look at that. She handmade these flowers, guys. I can tell that she burned the edges on it to create this. She's got some eyelash trim, and then she's got this beautiful little, um, uh, it's got like uh, rhinestones and enamel flowers. This is a metal piece in there, like a brooch kind of like. So there is flower number one, and she finished it in the back. And then here is flower number two, again, in a little organza bag. And look at the beautiful centers that she put in her flowers. She's got it eyelash trim, and then she's got it beaded, and then the little metal piece or brooch in the center. And she made these guys because you can tell when you burn a ribbon, it kind of curls into itself, and it kind of uh, singes the edges where they don't unravel. And there she finished it in the back. That is so pretty. Great job, great job, Miss Julia. So this is Miss Julia P here on YouTube. And she did, um, there's one more thing I have to show you. I almost forgot, guys, because I put the envelope on top of it. And she included a goodie for her group members, an LDRS die. And this is beautiful. It's got the, the outer frame. This would work great with the embellishments I just made. Um, I think Abby used this one in her swap. Uh, but this will work great with the, with the embellishments I just created. So pretty, pretty, and I love the color of these dyes, pink. Thank you so much, Miss Julia. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for playing. Miss Julia does have a YouTube channel, guys, so make sure to show her some love. And um, let me put this here. Make sure to show her some love. And as well as the other ladies, again, this was group 10, and it is Miss Anna Rodriguez, who is my, uh, my Crafting World. It is Lucia Walder, who, uh, Walder, who is Mariposa on YouTube, and Julia P., who is Julia P. here on YouTube. Thanks for playing, ladies. Thanks for creating one for me. Everyone have a great day, and God bless. Bye.